Okay, all right. Um, but, you know, in a way, I think, you know, it's, it's the major, major things coming down the pike right away. For example, um, the fiscal cliff, obviously, so this serious stuff has to happen. And uh, he's whoever the president is has to have the cooperation of Congress, to, to the House in particular. So if it's likely to be Obama, as it seems, he's got a Republican House. They're going to not be in the mood to compromise, probably. So we're going to be having some major stuff happening. And hopefully it won't just be blame shifting for a fiscal disaster. So that's number mm -hmm. one. Number two, um, Iran, the nuclear weapon, which seems to be coming down the pike some way or other. How do we deal with that? Does Israel undertake um, military action on its own? Does the U.S. support this? Does the U.S. do it itself? Um, if Romney gets in, he's a little more trigger happy. Than <laughs> Obama, stuff's happening under, this, under the radar, no doubt, like the Stuxnet stuff, you know about that, the um, uh, computer virus that damaged the uh, production process. But still, something's got to happen on that. Obama seems to be pretty good at, it's not really super visible type of diplomacy, but a lot of stuff seems to be going on that in general it seems to me to be sensible use of American power in a new world. So it has to be much more careful, much more deft, much more um, conscious of being in a multipolar world, stuff like that. But still, that's a direct challenge. So that's, that's, those are two big things right away. The longer term thing is one reason why I would favor Jill Stein and in general just as it's a big issue. We're talking about jobs, right? So, and that's the only word that they seem to know in the first debate is jobs. But, you know, nobody's talking about, until the hurricane at least, climate change or anything mm -hmm. like that. But those, that's really the big stuff that's coming down the road. If an Obama has attempted at least to create an economy based on um, uh, green development, basically, rather than just the same old jobs. Whereas, but pretty much if it comes to jobs versus environment, it's jobs for him too. And Romney, who doesn't really care about environment particularly, um, and certainly, I don't know what he thinks, because nobody really knows what he thinks, but his sponsors and his and people are going to be, would pressure him and would kind of, he'd have to answer to in his presidency, are pretty much right-wing and pro-business and all that, so they're going to be pulled off the track entirely. Obama's on the track, at least a little, but that's the biggest issue of all, it seems to me, in four years or 40 years, which is what we ought to be thinking of, it seems to me. Um, how do you have an economy that doesn't destroy the environment? that in fact rebuilds the environment. And it's absolutely possible. Um, green technology, but he, so Obama got savaged for a couple of uh, wind power firms going under that were publicly supported. All kinds of other stuff he's done doesn't seem to be, he doesn't seem to bring it up himself for some reason. But, you know, that's really key to, and plenty of that has succeeded, wind power firms and solar and trying to shift. But even Obama says he's going to lease more offshore oil drilling and stuff like that. So he's not... He's not going too far on that track either, at least right now. But um, as it becomes clearer and clearer that climate change is, is happening and is driving um, a variety of threats, even 10 years ago, I remember, the Defense Department identified the single greatest threat to American security in the 21st century. Guess what? Not Iran, not Russia, not nuclear weapons, it's climate change. <laughs> To national security. If you think of that as a national security, well, if you have to think of it as military, national security, okay, fine, whatever, but it's a critical issue. So in the short run, yeah, 100 days, Iran, and fiscal cliff. In the long run, uh, creating an economy, creating the, the next economy, basically, is not going to be based on industry, it's not going to be based on 20th century type manufacturing is going to be, it has to be, it's going to have to be a great economy, it's going to have to be fast, and it's going to have to be deft. Thank you.